guys, good morning. I am back to share with you a vendor that's new to me that I'm very excited about, and that is Bento Wax Company. Uh, Bento Wax Company is a new-ish vendor. She's been around for about six months now, and I've heard nothing but great stuff about her company. Um, I've literally never heard one negative review about her stuff. So she's definitely been a vendor that's been in the spotlight, um, something that's been on my list I've wanted to try. She had a pre-order about six or so weeks ago. So I went on her list and I ordered everything that sounded up my alley or something, you know, maybe that I thought I might want for spring. And so I just received my package yesterday and I'm very excited about it and can't wait to share with you guys what I got. Before I show you the sample and get into it, I just want to say she did include a fortune cookie as well as a piece of Japanese candy, but my husband ate those yesterday, so I don't have that to show you. But it's a nice touch um, on top of how cute her wax already is. I ordered mainly just three packs. She also has like smaller loaves that look like sushi rolls, um, like a different type of sushi roll. And then her samplers come in like bento boxes, like kind of like the sushi boxes. So the theme is super cute, but I don't have any of that to show you because I only got the three packs. So let's go ahead and get into it. This sample that I received is in Hello Kitty, which is sugar cookie dough and apple pie. It's just um, a red square sample. That's what it looks like. I'm, the lighting's different. Um, this video is a little bit different, but... I wanted to get the lighting right and maybe give you something pretty to look at while I talk about this. This scent smells amazing. This is not a scent I would have ordered on my own. Actually, I didn't. It was available for purchase and I didn't order it. And so I like that she paid attention to the scents that I did order and made sure not to give me a sample in any of those scents because I have had that happen with a vendor where this one of the samples I've received is something I've already ordered and it's like, I mean, thank you for the sample that's generous, but, you know, logically you'd think you would try if you had the chance to give them a scent that they don't have as a way to possibly open them up to a new blend or something like that. You know what I mean? I hope that doesn't come off rude, but... <laughs> um, so I think that's really cool she included this. The apple pie gives it like a slight bakery. And I think I only order, uh, ordered one bakery or maybe two bakery scents. So, I don't know, I just felt like she paid a little bit of attention to detail when it came to giving me this sample. Could have been a fluke, but I just kind of feel that way. So the first three pack I want to show you is called Dragon Roll, which is just dragon fruit and papaya. So it's like a gray with green striped sushi rolls. And this is a really nice fruity blend. I had never smelled dragon fruit by itself, but I do know what papaya smells like and it's kind of sweet and you can smell that sweetness on the end almost has like a tropical, maybe it's more of an exotic scent than tropical, but it's really nice. Next is called the Dirty Pineapple, which is dirty, uh, which is a lush dupe, pineapple and papaya. So these are just white with that green stripe. And I had, I didn't know what dirty from lush smelled like, but the pineapple and papaya is what kind of made me decide to choose this one. This one was kind of a wild card. And I still don't know what dirty is, but this one's really nice. And this is, my husband said this one was his favorite. It almost has like a, almost like a manly soap type of quality at the, at the beginning. And then it's almost like it's sweetened up by um, really nice tropical fruit. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure how to describe that lush, but that is pretty good. I think that would be a great bathroom blend. Next up is Knox, and Knox is Blueberry Cobbler, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Vanilla Bean Noel. These are just solid gray. I think the lighting is kind of throwing off the color, but that is what these look like. And this smells great. I've had Blueberry Cobbler on its own, and that's a pretty strong note. And I do smell it, but I'm glad that it's not the only thing that I smell. Like, I really feel like I can smell the other set notes in her wax. I definitely get the sugar cookie dough, a little bit of vanilla. It's a really nice, creamy bakery scent. 
really wish I had ordered at least one more of those. So I know this is a repurchase scent already. Next up is Lumos, I think I'm pronouncing that correct, which is ice cream scoop bread, vanilla bean noel, marshmallow, and peppermint. And then this is white with yellow. That is definitely not showing up true to color. Let me see if that helps. That really doesn't help. There, you can see that a little bit better. You know what, let me pan the camera down for you. I know that's... It's a lot prettier to look at, but yeah. So that this one's Lumos. This one blew me away. The peppermint in this is amazing. I think it's because it's with the ice cream scoop bread. Oh my gosh, that is this is probably my favorite out of all of them. It's just so good. Super, super comforting. Cannot wait to melt that one. This one is, I'm probably going to botch this, Wingardium Leviosa. I've never seen any of the Harry Potters, so I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this is berries and cotton candy, solid white color. This one's great. I'm not sure all the berries that are in there, but... That's a really nice berry scent. You can tell it's definitely a complex blend of berries, um, just really sweetened up. Definitely a repurchase as well. And that would also be a really nice blender scent with some other fruity stuff. Got two more here. This one is, I don't know, Osseo Horcrux. I know I'm totally saying that wrong which is Blonde Moment, Berries, and a Touch of Fizzy Soda. So this one's green with a gray stripe. And this one's really good too. Um, I love Blonde Moment, love berries. I kind of learned recently I'm not a fan of Fizzy. It's called Fizzy Pop. She has a S Fizzy Soda, but it's the same thing. But it's not overwhelming, and so I think I can do it. The other scents that I had ordered with Fizzy Pop in it were just so overwhelming, I couldn't handle it. This one I can actually, it smells like a like a grape soda altogether. That one smells really nice. And my husband said the same thing, grape soda. I was surprised. I always get surprised every time he picks out Blonde Moment because when he first started smelling wax that I would order, he was terrible at guessing the scent stuff, but he's gotten really good. And the last pack I have here is called Sweet Tooth Fairy, which is Candy Fairy, which is a flush type. A flush, which is a lush type, and blueberry cotton candy. Again, I don't really know what candy fairy smells like. I know it's like a sweeter scent, but uh, blueberry cotton candy really caught my eye, and I thought I would just give it a shot. So it's white with a green stripe. Yeah, and this one's really nice. It has like that can it's like a candy quality to it. It's almost like the inside of a candy store mixed with a little bit of fruit. So that was my bento order. I am so stoked about this. Um, I've been loving bento wax and what's the other company? Oh, Purple Fox Wax. They're both kind of new. I think, I don't know if they're friends in real life or not, but they really support each other a lot on Instagram. Um giving shout outs to each other's company and purchasing from their restock. So it almost has that feeling like they're friends or something. And I, I kind of like that, but, uh, I think she's having a ready to ship tomorrow or no, 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 either it's Friday or Saturday. So if you're interested in ordering from this company, you should really get into her group like today. As soon as you see this, it's Bento Wax Company on Facebook. Join the group. All the information will be posted there along with her website and exactly when or how to order and what she'll have available. I think everything she'll have available is over pours from the, um, this ready to ship order. So I'm not going to be ordering this time. I'm going to wait a little bit um, and see if she offers some new scents and give some of these a try. But very excited about this company. So I just really wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.